Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Achievement Diary Task Guide. Today we will be doing the Kandarin Medium Achievement Diary Tasks. Uh, where's Kandarin? I can't look. There we go. Kandarin, I've already got some done, but no big deal. Uh, pretty much have all of them still to do. So, these, I'm going to warn you guys right now, these are a lot of quests, or a lot, not a lot of quests. These are a lot of tasks you need to do, a lot of sort of weird things that you probably haven't done in a while. So they could be a bit frustrating. Um, so just a heads up. Anyways, also... I will be going over my items, but I'm going to be saving a couple of the tasks for very for at the very end. For example, you're going to have to create a mind helmet. Also, you need to complete a wave of barbarian assault, so just one wave. Um, and I won't be doing that with this gear, obviously. I'll be doing that at the very end uh, when I've used up you know everything I don't need in my inventory. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So first things we're going to need are unicorn horn, pestle and mortar, irrit leaf, vial of water, a mithril grapple. Uh, mithril crossbow or higher, preferably rune, uh, big fishing net, uh, teleport to Camelot, so in my case, that's, I have to do a spellbook swap, but if you have standard spellbook, it's five air, one law, a rope, bowstring, maple shortbow unstrung, super combos is recommended, a limport seed, a pickaxe, um, you only need one lock pick technically, but if you fail, you're going to lose it, so bring maybe a couple just in case, but one should be enough. Uh, just in case have one in your bank though. A rake and a seed dibber, Galerial's amulet, and then we have a Draymond staff. And yeah, so those are the items you need. I also recommend having a weapon. Actually, you really do need a weapon. You need to kill a fire giant. So weapon is really recommended. Um, stamina potions, teleports to Camelot. Uh, sh I just have one food, a shark, just in case. I also really recommend having a Slayer Ring. You need, you need access to a Fairy Ring, and the Relica Cave is the fastest way to get there, so I have that. And it's recommended to have an anti dragon Fire Shield, a Games Necklace, and some Dehide or whatever you want to wear, just some armor. And uh, yeah, that's about it. A lot of stuff you need to need to do. For the creating a Mind Helmet, you need a Mind Bar, a Hammer, a Beaten Book, and a Battered Key. And then obviously for the Barbarian Assault Wave, you need some Combat Armor, um, but that won't be that hard. Levels you need, 35 Agility, 48 Herblore, 40 Range, 36 Agility, 22 Strength, 46 Fishing, 43 Cooking, 45 Magic, 50 Fletching, 26 Farming, 47 Thieving, and 30 Mining. As usual, all the items and stuff are below, all the levels are below as well, so if you need to double check, it's all below. Uh, quests you need are the Bar Crawl Mini Quest, the Elemental Workshop 2, Waterfall Quest, and you must have started Fairy Tale Part 2, Cure a Queen. So, let's get started now. First thing we're gonna do is crush our unicorn horn on the pestle and mortar. Use your ear at leaf on your vial of water. And then use your unicorn horn dust on the ear at potion to create a super anti-poison. Awesome, that completes that. You can go ahead and bank your super anti-poison now and also your pestle and mortar. You don't need to do that anymore. All you need to do now is use your maple, maple shortbow on your bowstring. And that f finishes that. I'll drop that. Some lucky guy here is gonna pick it up. And yeah, those are two easy ones out of the way. Now we guys, now we guys, now we're gonna run to the Catherby farming patch, which is just pretty much a straight shot east and a bit south. And we're gonna have to plant the limpwort seed. Um, now you're gonna have to pick some limpwort roots um, at the end. Uh, so we're gonna plant these early. So while you're doing the other tasks, these will grow, and hopefully by the end they'll have grown. And if they haven't, it probably won't be that long until they grow. So. Got some lovely unicorns over here. But we want the farming patch. That's what's important. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and plant these. Rake our flower patch. Should only be three three weeds. Use your super anti or super compost. And then use your limport seed. And okay, those will start planting. And now we just have to wait for those to finish. So now we're going to head south and we're going to have to cook or catch a bass. And you can catch this bass with your big fishing net. It's going to drop these weeds. Now we're going to go ahead and net a fishing spot and wait to catch one. Let's see how long it takes. So I'll just got like double mackerel. Okay. And uh, yeah, I'll record once I've got one. All right. So once you've caught it, also make sure you're doing it at a net harpoon spot. We're gonna head, go ahead and cook it to finish it off. That's only part one. Let's cook it on the range. Get a yummy bass, bass, bass. I'll keep that down here just in case. So now we're gonna need to head to the Taverly Dungeon. 
which is right here. Now you guys have to get from here to here. There's a couple ways to do this. You can either go up to this um, cave and go under the mountain to get to Taverly and then run south to get to the dungeon. You can teleport to Falador, cross the shortcut, get to the dungeon, or you can just straight up teleport to Taverly and run south. But either way, go ahead and make your way to this dungeon right here. Now we're gonna have to run through it to get to the island right here and we'll have to grapple across, which is one of the tasks we have to do. So make your way to that Taverly dungeon. Okay, so once you made it to the Taverly Dungeon, go ahead and climb down. Now basically, there is a huge advantage here if you guys have 70 agility. What you can do if you have 70 agility is you can squeeze through the obstacle pipe to get to the other side of this. And it saves you a lot of time. And you also don't need a dusty key, dusty key to get through the gate. However, like I mentioned earlier, for those of you who got a dusty key or still need to get a dusty key, I'll leave a guide, I'll leave a guide on how to, how to get that. And if you don't have Sunny Jill, you have to run your way around to get to the Dusty Key. But obviously that link is all below. Or that link is below. So once you've made your way to this point, once you've gotten here uh, with the Agility Shortcut or without it, if you use the Dusty Key, you guys are going to keep running south past the Blue Dragons. And we're going to sort of make a U-turn around here. Past the Black Demons. Oops. Want to go through here. And keep running. We're going to make our round here. Hopefully, you don't get poisoned. Oh, we got poisoned. Oh, well. We'll beat a bank soon, anyway. And now, where these black dragons are, you guys just want to climb up the ladder. And you're going to be on this little island right here. And now we have to sort of grapple our way across. So, let's go ahead and grapple the crossbow tree. Oops, I need to equip it. And shoot that bish. Bam, and we make our way across. And boom, we complete that. Awesome stuff. I wonder if that stays there, maybe? I don't know. Anyways. Okay, there we go. The rope disappeared. We have an inventory bit. Okay. So, if you guys want to bank, you can go ahead and bank your... Uh, crossbow and mithril grapple and your whatever whatever yeah whatever else you'll need anymore we we'll wouldn't go do that we'll go ahead and use that super anti-poison we made earlier and uh go ahead and get that poison off us we can bank our grapple crossbow um where should we put this we need our fishing net and uh we'll keep the rest like this for now so now, if you guys have your Slayer Ring, go ahead and use that teleport to the Relica Slayer Cave. If not, make your way to a Fairy Ring. It doesn't matter where. Use your Edgeville one, the Castle Wars one. Just make basically make your way to a Fairy Ring. And use your... Or equip your Fairy or Draymond stuff. And use your... Or stand on the Fairy Ring. And now use the Fairy Ring again. And we're going to teleport to the Code... Ba -ba -ba. A L S A L S, and that should teleport teleport us into McGrubber's Woods. Awesome! Look at that. We completed another task. So now we're gonna go ahead and go to the coal trucks. The coal trucks are on the western side of the McGrubber's Wood McGrubber's Woods. We sort of have to mine some coal. So we're gonna make our way around there. Okay, I guess I have to run all the way around for some reason. But okay, nice. So once you're at the fence, just squeeze through the loose railing. And now just run west. Uh, so once you're here, go ahead and cross this log balance. Okay. 
And now we need to mine some coal here. So go ahead and I think almost all of this is coal. Just look for the rocks with the black streaks through them. This should all be coal. So let's go and chop or chop, jeez, mine. And that'll get some coal and that completes that task. So now we're gonna go ahead and run to the ranging guild. It's not that far away, but basically make your way back across the log balance. And then I'll show you in the minimap. We're currently right here. Just straight up run southeast to the ranging guild, and all you need to do is enter it. Not that far of a run. Okay, let's open the guild door. And well, we completed it. Cool. And now we're going to make our way to the Hemenster area, which is pretty much where we are now. Fun fact, there is a city called Hemenster on RuneScape. Many of you guys know, probably know this from fishing contests, but we have to make our way into Hemenster in order to steal from a chest. So just make your way south from the entrance of the fishing guild or fishing contest thing, the gate. And you guys see this chest right here. Open the door. We can search for traps. And we open the chest. And boom. Five steel arrow tips. Bank was made. Cool. So that completes that task. Okay, so now we can go ahead and in my case I gotta use spellbook swap to change the standard spellbook. And oh dear, I switched to the wrong spellbook. <laughs> Basically, you guys have to go to the standard spellbook and just use your use your runes for your Camelot teleport. So go ahead and do that. Okay, let's try that again. So book swap, standard. Boom, Camelot teleport. Much better, that's completed. So now we have to go ahead and complete a lap of the Barbarian Agility course. So what we're gonna do is teleport to Barbarian Assault. When you're here, go ahead and make your way around this building. You guys can see, you don't actually, this is the Barbarian Assault. We go, we have to go to the agility course. You don't need to go in this building. So make your way around. Open the gates. Open this door. Oops, no, just kidding, not to go that one. Go ahead and squeeze through the obstacle pipe. And go ahead and complete a lap of the agility course. Alright, that completes that one. Awesome. So now you can teleport back to Barbarian Assault just to make your way out of here quickly. And we have to go ahead and make our way to the Baxtorian Falls, which is where we're going to kill a fire giant. So just go ahead and run south. And you want to use the second bridge, so the one on the right. Uh, so a more eastern bridge when you're running south. Once you get here, you guys want to go sort of the on the river edge. Oops. Uh, to get there, you have to go through both houses, or both gates that lead to the house. One gate, one door. Sorry. There's a gate on the other side. <laughs> and go ahead and open this gate. And now you want to board the log raft. All right, once you're here, go ahead and make your way down and use your rope on the rock. Oops, use it on the ledge. Ah. Rope on the rock. You'll somehow lasso it and pull your way across. And now don't climb the tree. Use your rope on the dead tree. And you make your way down. Go ahead and equip Glarial's amulet. And let's go ahead and open. Oops. There we go. And you'll be in here. Now we have to go kill a fire giant. So sort of kill wherever you want. I'm just gonna go straight north. And let's go ahead and kill one. Whichever one. It's not multi, so only one will get on you. Oops, I'm, I'm flicking chivalry. And they're not that hard to kill though, so at least if you're my level, they're not hard to kill. If you're lower level, they might hit a little bit, but as long as you have some food and some decent gear, you should be fine. They're level 86. 
All right. And da 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 da. Rune skimmy? Nope. Rune arrows. There we go. We completed a medium task. Got 12 rune arrows. Beast. Okay, so now we only have a couple more left. Now you guys basically want to head back to Camelot. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and complete a wave of Barbarian Assault. So what I'm going to do is you can sort of bank everything you have pretty much. And then go ahead and get some combat gear on. Make sure you bring a Games Necklace and a Camelot Teleport as well. And I'll begin recording once I've sort of banked. Alright, so once you are geared, make sure you're not wearing a cape. Go ahead and teleport to Barbarian Outpost. Now, a quick thing before you do the Barbarian Assault. If you guys don't want to join the Old School RuneScape BA, so OSRS BA is just Old School RuneScape Barbarian Assault. You guys want to join that clan chat. There's usually people in here looking for people to do games or waves with. And the official world is World 306, so if you guys want to hop to World 306, you can probably find people to play a wave with or just do a wave with. So we're going to go ahead and head to wave one because all we need to do is one wave. Pretty easy wave to get done. There should be a lot of people in there depending on your world or time of day, but usually there's always people here. So go ahead and pass the door. And now you want to find a team. So I will leave a link to the Barbarian Assault wiki guide on sort of the different rules and stuff. Um, if you guys have done Barbarian Assault before, you sort of know how it goes. If not, I'll leave a link below. Basically, once you guys, once you get in this room, you want to sort of say what you're going to do. Or you can say anything. I'll just, I'll just say, uh, attacker slap. Oh, I got invited. Uh, so if you get invited, uh, let's just say I'll do the attacker. Is somebody ready to attacker? Now they wait for me to accept. Awesome. So now we're in a team. You guys can see right here your, your team. And now we'll just wait till I get into the game. Okay, so depending on your role, obviously I'm not going to do a whole Barbarian Assault explanation. I'm currently an attacker. What I do is uh, I have to use a certain combat style. In my case, I use um, a combat style on one of the things. And then I also need to tell a person what egg to use. In this case, I say tell blue because it says red. Now I have to say tell red. And that's pretty much how you do it. So let me just finish this wave. Okay, and once you've completed the wave, you'll say that you've completed a medium task. Awesome. Okay, so once you've completed, go ahead and break your Camelot teleport and go ahead and go back. And we're gonna head over to our Limport route, which we planted earlier. They only take 25 minutes to grow. So it should be here by now. There it is. Let's see. I see a healthy Limport root. Let's go ahead and pick it. And da -da -da -da. we've completed a medium task. Awesome. So in my case, it says I've completed all the tasks, but that's because I've already done my mind helmet. In your case, I'm going to start playing the mind helmet video right now. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you how to make a mind helmet from scratch in, or in order to complete the Kandoran medium achievement diary tasks. So first thing you got to do is get yourself to Sears Village uh, in between the anvil and the sort of quest house with the cooking symbol in it. And yeah, items wise, we're going to need eight coal, a pickaxe, a weapon, a hammer, and a knife. And that's about it for now. So first thing you want to do to get the slashed book is just search this bookcase and you're going to get a slashed book. Click here to continue. You also find a key. Make, sh a key. Make sure you press click here to continue or else you won't get the key. So that's how you get the key back. You don't need the slash book at the moment. Next thing we gotta do is get the beaten book back. Now to get the beaten book back, you don't need the slash book, you need the beaten book. You guys have to go to the library, the dig site library, or the dig site's library southeast of Varrock. What I'm talking about is, let me go ahead and go over there. So here's Varrock. There's the dig site, you guys remember that lovely quest? And then south of that is the exam center. The library is in the exam center, so basically what I recommend is just teleporting to Varrock and running your way down here to the exam center or you can Alcarid Tele and run your way up. So somehow make your way to the exam center. If you guys have a dig site pendant, you can rub that and you'll end up just north of the exam center, which really helps too. And then you can just run through the dig site to get there. So let's go. So once you're here, the bookcases are on the Southern part of the library or exam center. Let's go ahead and search the bookcases until you find a beaten book. 
Ba -ba -ba. Book on chemicals, don't need that. Nothing here. And we get a beaten book, there we go. And you just need that, pretty much it. You also get a scroll, which doesn't really do anything, but uh, just keep the beaten book and the scroll in your inventory just in case. So now you guys want to head back to Sears Village, basically where you guys started, and I'll see you guys there. Not much else to say. So once you're in Sears Village, you can bank your you know, bank some stuff if you want, but I pretty much have the same inventory. And now we're going to head to the room with the anvil, uh, open the odd-looking wall, and you'll automatically go through and climb down the staircase. Many of you guys probably haven't been here in a while, unless you do clues. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to try and kill an earth elemental now. Which is going to drop us some elemental ore. So go ahead and try to mine the elemental rock. They should pop up. And now you guys have to kill them. You can, you can punch it to death if you want. They're not that strong. But uh, let's see if they drop one. They should drop it first time. Yes, elemental ore. And now we're going to do one more. Just in case we mess up. Uh, we're going to have two. It's always nice to have more than one. So let's go ahead and get that. Okay, we got that. And now we have to go make an elemental bar. So to do this, you guys have to use, obviously, these two things on a furnace. So we're going to go to the southern part of here, of the room, just, there you go, heading north, and we have to use on this furnace over here. So just use your coal, or use the elemental ore or whatever on the furnace. And we get an elemental metal. One more. Basically, elemental metal pretty much is the same thing as elemental bar. And now we have two of those. And now let's go ahead and head back to the center. So the next thing we have to do is turn this into a primed bar. So we're going to have to go down one level. So where you guys are, just climb down the hatch. And we're going to end up in the sort of processing room of making elemental bars into prime bars. So you're going to run south. And we're going to take a look at the old crane, the J-cart, and whatever this is. So for the first thing we're going to do is use our elemental metal on the J-cart. And then we're going to have to move it to the other side of here. So first thing we're going to do... Let's press the left one. It's going to pick it up and then press it again to lift it up. Go to the other one, so the right side. I'll just keep it like this, but I want to see what's going on. And it's going to be above the lava. Go back to the left one to move it down. And then lift it up again when you see it turn orange. Go ahead and go back to the right one to swing it back around. And last but not least, Go back to the left one to release it one more time. And boom, you have uh, sort of a primed orangish elemental bar. But you don't pick it up, don't take it. You guys want to pull this lever first. And our little bar is going to go on a trip. Look at him. Look how happy he is. His first ever trip. What a hero. What a legend. So this one's a pretty simple station. All you have to do is pull this old lever. It should stamp our metal. Boom. Stamps it. Now you guys want to pull this lever again that you pulled earlier. That's going to move it to the next station, which is sort of like the heating, cooling station. This station is a bit more trickier, but no big deal. We'll get it done together. You and I. And go ahead and wait for it to stop. Nice. So first thing we're going to do is pull this old lever. It's going to turn open the door. Now we're going to turn the corkscrew. And we're going to turn it again. It's going to move it in. And now we want to pull this lever again on the left side to close the door. Easy. So now we're going to go to the left water valve. This is going to fill it with water. And now we want to go to the right water valve. And this is sort of going to fill it. We'll close the valve. And that's going to see, you see our bar has turned sort of silver, which is almost done being a primed bar. So now you're going to see it sort of almost be empty. Now you want to turn the water valve here again to lower the water so there's only a bit left. And now you want to go back to your left one. Turn that so it's completely empty. Go ahead and pull this old lever to open the door. Turn the corkscrew to bring your bar back out. Turn the corkscrew again to bring the wood sort of back in. And pull the old lever to close it again. And boom, that's done. Okay, we're almost done, guys. Let's go ahead and go back south. You guys know the drill at this point. Pull the lever to make it go to the next station. 
And while it's going over, you guys can see it's sort of like a bluish color, a bluish white color. Uh, the fan's going to be not spinning. What you want to do is pull this old lever. It's going to make the fan spin, and it's going to make your bar turn white. That's the color you want. Let's go ahead and stop the fan. And one last time, pull this lever, which will bring it back over here to where you started. Slow journey. It had a long life. Good for him. And now we have ourselves a nice primed bar. Three, two, one. Take from the J cart. Boom. Prime bar. Easy. So guys, we're almost done. Now we want to go back with our primed bar. We're going to go ahead down a level. So let's go ahead over to the stairwell down here. We're going to click down on the stairwell. And now for this next part, your magic is going to be reduced by 20. Um, but that surely that shouldn't really be a big deal. Let's go ahead and open these mine doors. And with your prime bar, we're going to have to place it on this extractor gun. You place it in there. Now you want to operate the extractor hat. And a little cutscene is going to appear of your brain being... <laughs> who knows what's going on in there but at the end of the day you get yourself a mind bar which is really why the we why the which is really why the we I, I can't say that why the reason you are here <laughs> that was bad so now we're gonna go back up to the first level make sure you have your primed mind bar make sure it says that I just closed the door on myself as usual and uh, climb back up the stairs we're gonna head to the first level dude dude Boom, first level. So once you're up here, last thing you gotta do is use your primed bar on a workbench. And boom, you can make your elemental mind helm. You're all done, you've completed a medium task. So yeah, that's how you make you guys. Hope it helps. And uh, yeah, there you go. Okay guys, so once you've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and head to the task guy, the wedge, uh, who's just below Camelot Castle. I have my headgear. And you should be done now with all your tasks. So go ahead and talk to him. Yes, please. Boom. Look at that headgear. It looks sick now. So I've upgraded, your, I've upgraded your candor and headband. You can now... Cutting maples is now 10%. It provides 10% more experience. You can spin materials 33% faster at the spinning wheel and claim 60 flax each day from the flax keeper. And the Catherby Herb Patch provides a 5% higher crop yield. Coal trucks now help hold up to 280 coal now as well. So lots of stuff from this. We also get an XP lamp. So that's it, guys. If the video did help you out, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to comment if you guys have any more efficient ways of doing this guide. Make sure to comment if the guide helped you out. And that's about it. I'll see you for the next video. Peace.